Hi, I'm Connor McClendon. <laughs> Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? Hi, I'm Connor McClendon and welcome to Hamped Up. This week, I spoke with NHS senior Lauren Munster and NHS sophomore Bridget Guller Slow about playing for the Long Meadow girls ice hockey team, which made it all the way to the state quarterfinals this season. So, last year you were playing on a boys team at East Hampton, this year you're playing on a girls team at Long Meadow. What was that transition like for you? Um, definitely an interesting transition because of like the def different relationships you develop with like different people. Um, like last year was like, we were always like really separated from the different like locker rooms and stuff and now we're like all together as one team as it's like, you know, girls coming together and stuff. Um, so I would say it's like a much easier, like you like much easier to make relationships or like especially like when we're all together all the time. I mean, I think the biggest difference for me was obviously my position change. I mean, I've always loved to play goalie, and playing goalie for East Hampton was a blast. Um, I even actually am playing goalie on the JV team for Longmeadow now, too. But I think, like, comparing playing goalie for East Hampton to skating out for Longmeadow, I felt a lot more comfortable skating out for Longmeadow. And, I mean, it was just a great year. Do you wish that there was a Northampton team, or do you like being on a team that has students from a bunch of different schools? I definitely like having like a lot of different schools because I feel like it makes us bond more. Like especially like going to like like bus rides or something, or like just like being in the locker room. It forces you to talk about stuff other than school, and it like makes you like form relationships quicker. I think. I mean, it really doesn't matter as soon as you get on the ice because you're all trying to work for the same goal. You all just want to try and do your best and win the game. So it doesn't really matter where you're from at that point. So you have to travel to Springfield for practices, you have to travel all over the state for games. Does that ever get uh, difficult, uh, balancing schoolwork and travel for games? It's definitely time consuming, but um, like definitely the bus rides we use like to times, like sometimes do homework, sometimes we do like other things like, you know, like listen to music or whatever, but it always is like, makes us bond more, I guess, like as I said before. You have to try and figure out how to balance your schoolwork and your sports, and sometimes you do have to miss a practice here and there, but the coaches are great and will understand that no matter what. So you guys are now in the state quarterfinals and you came in as the number 12 seed so that's a pretty impressive run do you guys like being the underdog um i would say so but also you have to take into consideration that like being the underdog you can always like upset someone but always someone can always also upset you like recently we had like a the 24th seed or whatever like upset the number five seed or something like that so it's like very you always have to like be on your toes and like be ready for like the next game ahead all right great thanks so much for being on hamped up Congratulations to Nick Smith, Patrick Quinlan, Cola Valley, and Ben Gordon Sniffin, who achieved All American status at Nationals in New York this past weekend after their relay team finished sixth in their event.